Hello, and welcome back to another video. If you remember in the previous video, I reviewed a new AI writer tool called Wordplay. Wordplay helps you generate full-length articles, literally, with a click of a button. In this video, I am going to compare Wordplay with another AI writer tool called Word Hero. Wordplay and Word Hero are both powerful AI writing tools, but there are some key differences between the two tools. And that's what I am going to show you in this short video. Let's get started. The first difference I am going to show you between both these tools is the number of templates and features. Wordplay doesn't have templates dedicated for short form content. All it has is a feature that only allows you to create long form content. On the other hand, Word Hero has a wide range of templates for different types of content like social media posts, email subject lines, blog posts, etc. So, if you're looking to generate short-form content, then Word Hero is a better option. Additionally, Word Hero also has a long-form content generator called Editor that allows you to create full-length articles. Even if you don't have access to Word Hero's long-form editor, you can still create long-form content using the available short-form content templates. For example, if you want to write a blog post, you can use different blog templates like the blog introduction, listicle, blog paragraph template, conclusion template, etc., and piece together a full-length article. Now let's take a look at the second difference between Wordplay and Word Hero, which is content quality. To be honest, both these tools create well-written content that is high in quality. However, I found that Word Hero's content is slightly better than Word Plays. The content generated by Word Hero is more readable and engaging. Additionally, Word Hero also has keywords feature that allows you to insert relevant keywords in your content, which makes it more SEO friendly. This feature is lacking in Wordplay. There is no way to insert keywords in the content generated by Wordplay. The only way you can insert a keyword into your article inside Wordplay is by incorporating them in the outline. Another difference I am going to show you between these two tools is the user experience. As I have already mentioned in my earlier video, Wordplay only needs you to enter the title of the article and the outline. It will then automatically generate a full-length article for you. While this is impressive, it also means that there is not much room for customization. This means you can't really control what the final article is going to look like. Also, the credits used can't be regained if you didn't like the article produced and would like to regenerate the content. On the other hand, Word Hero gives you much more control over the content that is generated. For example, you can choose the type of content you want to generate. You also have full control over the length of the content. If you're not happy with the article generated, you can regenerate it as many times as you want without having to worry about credits 
because Word Hero allows unlimited content generation per month. Lastly, I am going to show you the pricing. Both of these tools are available for lifetime deals. Wordplay is available for a one-time payment of $99 that gives you 7,500 credits per month. That means you can generate up to 7,500 words per month. If you want to get more credits, you will have to purchase a higher plan. On the other hand, Word Hero is available for a one-time payment of $89 that gives you unlimited content generation credits per month. So if you're looking for a tool that allows you to generate large amounts of content without having to worry about credits, then Word Hero is definitely a better option. If you also want to get access to the long-form editor inside Word Hero, you will have to pay an additional $59 one time. So for a total of $148, you will get access to all the features inside Word Hero. So these are the main differences between Wordplay and Word Hero. If you want my recommendation, I would say go with Word Hero because it is a more versatile tool that offers better quality content and has a better user experience. Also, the price is very reasonable considering that you get unlimited content generation with Word Hero. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I will try my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.